Hello friends, I am Professor Amit Kumar Banerjee from Faculty of Management Studies, Manasthari Vidyapit. These days, uh, data analytics have paid uh, much attention to capture the behavior of variables whether in social science, medical science and or subjects of management science like finance, HR or marketing. As uh, the requirement have increased, so the, the tools which have been developed to handle this data have also increased and some of the most common available data analytic tools are SPSS, eViews, R language, SAS and one of the most commonly used is MS Excel. In today's session, we will use MS Excel to understand and uh, have a clear outlook about the stock trend and pattern. For today's class, we will be, I will be taking data from NSC that is National Stock Exchange for a small period of time from 1st January 2018 to 31st of August 2018. Before we start, uh, let me tell you that how and where you can get the data. In order to get any stock data, you have two exchanges in India. One is BSC and other is NSC. Uh, BSC stands for Bombay Stock Exchange and NSC stands for National Stock Exchange. And in today's station, I have taken data from National Stock Exchange and you can get the historical data of uh, whether equities or debt instruments or derivatives from National Stock Exchange. For current session, I have taken NSC Nifty 50 index, which you are, which is available at www.nscindia.com. I have uh, taken this data from the period of 1st January 2018 to 31st of August 2018. And once you download the data, the data will look something like this. The data will contain uh, six columns. It will start with date. Then you have the open price. The open price is nothing but the price at which a particular stock opens on a particular day. Then you have the high price, the highest point, uh, price reached in a particular day, the low price, the closing price and the shares traded and the turnover on a particular day. So uh, for our session, uh, what I have done is I picked up the closing prices and volume and I have made a pictorial representation of the price and volume in the same using the same data set in through using Excel. Now, uh, in order to plot this graph, you have to go to Excel and open the Excel file and download the CSV file from NSC Stock Exchange. Then save that NSC CSV file into a uh, Excel file and take the closing prices and a turnover as two columns along with date, you can start plotting the graph. Now, how this graph needs to be plotted? First, you select the closing price and the turnover simultaneously and go to insert and choose line graphs and say OK. The moment you choose uh, these two columns, you will get a two different lines of two different colors out of which, which one will be of turnover, other will be of the closing prices. Now, since both these uh, variables have different yardstick of measurement, so we need to incorporate a second uh, axis so that it clearly demarks the turnover as well as the closing prices. So, what you need to do is just go over to the turnover line select it and double click at that end and once you double click a window will pop up which will say uh, series option plot series on you select the secondary axis and say close the moment you do that immediately you will find out that the graph has identified two different yardstick of measurement and now you can change the even the volume graph into different pattern Again, you only need to do is just select the red line and choose the graph type or select just right click and you say change series chart type. 
The moment you get do that, you will see a lot of options popping up, and you choose the column which has uh, which looks like a histogram, and say OK. Then you can see both the prices as well as volume in the same graph. Then you you will find that uh, this graph has uh, it has started from uh, ten thousand seven hundred mark and reached up to eleven thousand four hundred. Parallelly, what you can see is also the volume which is moving. Yes. Now you see that there, when there is a surge of prices, the volume is also parallelly increasing. Means the market is taking some amount of uh, bullish trend. So uh, this gives you a rough idea regarding how things are moving uh, uh, of this particular index. Going further, we can uh, plot these prices in one of the most commonly accepted form in the market. In the market, we generally use uh, candlestick uh, graphs for representing the prices. So, before we start about a candlestick chart, let me give you a little bit idea about how what is all about candlestick. It is basically called a Japanese candlestick. It ha it's if you look the uh, particular slide, you will find that this is it looks like a box plot with whiskers, and it has a real body with a upper shadow and a lower shadow. Now, uh, the lower whisker, the end point is the low price, then comes the closing price, then comes the open price, then comes the high price. Now, depending upon whether the market is bullish or bearish, the candlestick changes its pattern. Now, if the market is in bullish trend, then you will find that the candlestick will be green in color. It will start with lower low price, then it will move on to open price. At the end of the real body, you will find the closing price followed by the high price. Then you see uh, when the market is in bearish condition, the candlestick color will be red in color. This uh, representation is little bit different from what uh, the bullish representation is. Uh, it will start with closing price, then will move on to uh, low price to closing price, closing price to open price and open price to high price. Now, I have plotted the same data using candlestick formation with open, high, close and low prices. Now, if you see the candlestick chart, you will see I have marked them with arrows that there is a, a downward trend which has been represented by two red lines. And there are some upward trends which are being represented by green parallel lines. So, what does this saying? This is saying that the market, the prices are falling in certain period and some period the prices are rising. So, there is a bearish trend followed some, some area and there are bullish trend in some other area. Now, if you uh, want to plot this uh, candlestick chart, what you need to do is uh, go to the excel sheet and uh, choose previous data which we have downloaded and use the open high low columns and select the entire data go to insert go to other charts and there you will find uh, a candlestick formation which says open high close and just click it and immediately you will see the data forms a candlestick pattern now there is a, you will find unlike uh, the stock market where you will get red and green uh, candles here you will have black and white you can change the color uh, the black reflects, reflects your bearish formation and the white is the bullish formation let me take you a little bit further uh, though this is not a class about uh, technical analysis but i will try to just give you a brief idea regarding how and how do you interpret this candlesticks in this chart you will see there are some uh, cross marks then there is uh, a pattern like a hammer which you can see i have uh, given you a slide to show that then you can see uh, there is a, a pattern with a candlestick which has not the upper whisker it has only having a handle which looks like a hammer and uh, which has a reverse pattern also so this all formation then you have a doji uh, which is just like straight line cut from the middle. So, let me interpret which one of them so that it can help you to understand uh, the pattern formation using candlestick charts. Now, suppose if you see uh, a hammer, 
Then what can you explain is that the hammer reflects a bullish reversal pattern which signals that a stock is nearing bottom in a downward trend. The body of the candle is short if you can see the graph you can see that I have highlighted that you can see that the body of the candle is short with a longer lower shadow which is a sign of sellers driving prices lower during the trading session followed by strong buying pressure to end the session on a high close before we jump into conclusion whether this is a bullish reversal action we must watch the market closely for a few days to look at the upward trend. Similarly, you can also have a inverted hammer. Inverted hammer also forms in a downward trend and represents a likely trend reversal or support. It is identical to the hammer except for the longer upper shadow which I have highlighted in the powerpoint and which indicates buying pressure after the opening of price followed by considerable selling pressure. However, it was not enough to bring the price down below its opening value. Again, a bullish formation is required and it can come in the form of a long handle stick or a gap up accompanied by heavy trading volume. So, please remember whenever you are looking at the candlestick uh, charts, you just even look into the volume. Uh, even volume has many things to say when you look, look and interpret the candlestick formation. So, there is one more formation in candlestick called doji. Let me give you a small briefing about doji. Doji is basically a name for a session in which the candlestick for a security has an open and close by that are virtually equal. Doji represents indecision on the side of buyers and sellers and commonly seen in periods of consolidation and help can help a analyst to identify potential price breaks out. So, uh, you can see that uh, using candlestick you can interpret a uh, lot of information about the uh, trend of a particular instrument traded in a stock market. Now, uh, there is another type of graph which uh, you can use and today I will discuss that and I will end the session which is uh, what is known as the Bollinger Bands. Uh, Bollinger Bands is basically uh, a volatility bands uh, which are used uh, to understand the pattern formation in the market. So, uh, you can also create Bollinger Bands in Excel. I will first demonstrate how a Bollinger Band is crafted in uh, Excel and then we will understand uh, how this needs to be interpreted. Now, for uh, creating a Bollinger Band, what you need to do is go to Excel sheet which we were earlier pursuing. Now, first take the open, high and close prices. Instead of taking open, just take the high, low and low prices and mark select them. Now, when you create a Bollinger Bands, Bollinger Bands are basically are uh, bands with a threshold level which is just which follows just like a normal distribution. A normal distribution you have 95 percent confidence interval at one end you have mean plus or minus uh, mean plus 2 sigma observation on the right and mean minus 2 sigma observation in the left. So, we, a Bollinger Bands works on a similar pattern. It has one upper band and followed by a lower band. Now, let me uh, give you an idea how to create the upper band and the lower band using the data which we have. Now, uh, in starting what you do is we need to find a moving average. Suppose, you have a one year data in general practice what we do when we create a Bollinger Band is we take an average of 20 observations. Since I have not taken so many observations, but the, I have taken a moving average of 5 days closing prices and what you do is first find out the moving average for first 5 observation using the command average and choose the first 5 observation. Now, you when you go to that particular cell at the end of the cell you will find a cross appearing just double click it so the uh, so the excel will automatically calculate the other averages followed by you calculate the standard deviation for the first five observation and again you double click at the 
corner of the cell when the cross appears then the entire standard deviation is calculated followed by uh, you need to create the upper band as well as the lower band and for upper band what you need to do is just say equal to select the average and press shift and say 2 multiplied by the standard deviation value then it gives you a value in my screen it will be around 11,464.21 now just go to that end of the cell and double click once the cross appears now you get the upper band value then you calculate the lower band value in the same way only difference is instead of plus sign you use a minus sign then uh, you get the entire information you need to create a Bollinger graph or Bollinger bands now how to create this band first what you do is uh, choose the high low and uh, closing prices and uh, go to insert go to other charts the stock option is given then when the moment you take the first option you will see it is the one which has the high low and close prices once you get the graph what you need to do is you need to add the additional information into the graph that is SMA upper band and lower band now how to add this values for example if you take SMA go to the graph and press your right key and you will get select data now in select data what you need to do is you will see once the a window will pop up it will show the high glow and closing prices now you need to add the SMA there is an option called just below legend entries say add the moment you will as say press that add it will ask for the series you want to add in the graph you select SMA then you need to take the series values for series values you go from the second row till down till the SMA values are there and say ok once you do that uh, you will see uh, on the other end which is the other half which is called the edit portion all the observations are given in the form of categorical variables 1 2 3 4 5 but we need them according to the dates so what you need to do is just press edit and choose the date entire date column and say ok now invoke SMA you will see instead of categorical variables the dates are there similarly you do it for upper band followed by lower band so uh, you will see the graph appearing but the lines are not highlighted now what you need to do is you need to invoke this lines which you have uh, used in excel to show the upper band as well as the lower band now how to do that now what you do is once you have inserted all the data go to layout in layout you have a uh, format uh, chart area there you will see uh, you have will see a lot of options you choose first sma once you choose sma followed by format selection now in format selection there is something called fill and press solid fill and you the moment you do that there will be a solid fill the line which is not a visible will start with will be start visible now now you can change the color according to your wish you can change the color do the practice similar for even upper and lower band then you can see that the entire Bollinger band is visible now Bollinger bands is basically a, a volatility bands now when the the band spreads it shows high volatility and when the bands narrows down it shows uh, low volatility now how can you interpret the results of a Bollinger band suppose uh, in my curve if you see there is an area where there is a high volatility followed by low volatility followed by high volatility now where can you identify the buy and sell options if the uh, if you take the SMA value that is the moving average values if the va if the stock prices fall below those moving average values you will that is the place for buying and if contrary if the 
stock prices or index prices are on the higher side of moving average, then you are going for selling. So, uh, this is a small representation of Bolling Ban and uh, I will show you some more uh, trends and for bullish market position and bearish trends using the graph of the same candlestick graphs. Now, uh, if you want to find out whether the market is in bullish condition, what you can do is there is a certain patterns called uh, ascending triangle pattern or descending triangle pattern. I have crafted one for you. Uh, if you join the topmost uh, values of the candlesticks uh, and followed by the lower prices, you see that there is a formation like a triangle where uh, the downward prices are the closing prices are slowly moving upward direction. Yes, the low prices are slowly moving upward direction. This shows uh, a bullish trend. The contrary is your bearish trend. Then if the market has a rectangular formation, the candlesticks forms a rectangular formation, then it is neither bullish nor a bearish trend. Uh, my dear friends, this is a short, short presentation for today. I hope uh, this has helped you to understand some of the stock patterns and trends in the stock market. Uh, in future, we will meet once again. All the best for your future learning. Thank you very much.